In this video, we will see how to implement ESLint in Angular and uh, test linting in our application. So let me add lint into our uh, application. So uh, ESLint supports uh, schematics. <laughs> so instead of uh, doing npm install, we can uh, do ng add. ng add. So here we don't need to uh, import the modules or add uh, in the JSON file, nothing. We don't need to do anything. We can just use the schematics. The schematics will take care of uh, adding the linting configuration in our application. Okay, now uh, ESLint has been installed. Let us check our uh, linting for this application. So we have uh, lint script already added. So let us directly test it. npm run lint. Okay, so we don't have any linting issues. So uh, all our files pass linting if you have any issues the issues will be reported here you can uh, fix those issues and rerun the linting okay now let's create an issue whether the lint is showing that issue or not let's find out Okay, so now I have added an empty um, on init lifecycle. Let's see whether uh, the lint is allowing it or not. Yes, the lint has successfully found it. Lifecycle method should not be empty. So we have created an empty on init lifecycle. So if we remove that, it will uh, not throw any error, or else we can have any uh, console.log. App component will save this. Let's rerun this. See now all files pass linting, even though we have the on in it, but it's not empty now. So this has a com some content. So that's why it's not throwing any error. So all the files pass linting. If you want to add any new rules, then you have to add it here. You can have all the rules defined here. And if you want to um, disable or something, you can do everything here. 